Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where you're getting a little pop up something like this on your iPad, where essentially it's telling you this app is not compatible with your specific device or your iPad or whatever it is. Now the main reason why this happens is just like how that reads, the application that you're trying to download is not compatible with your iPad. Now the main reason why this happens is because that developer just hasn't made an app for this specific device. So you can see for the example, if I go and try to download TikTok, this app I think should work. There should be a iPad counterpart, but if not, then it wouldn't download and it would prompt me that message. Now it looks like Netflix is another one of these apps. So if I go and click here, if I go and type in Netflix like this, it looks like we can't actually download certain apps. Maybe Netflix will work, but we can't download certain applications because they just aren't supported on the iPad natively. Now, for some reason that ends up being the case, what we can always do is we can search and filter down from iPhone app, from iPad apps to iPhone apps. So we can go and click filters here and you can see supports iPad only. What you can do is it supports iPhone only. So now we will get a larger range of device apps that we can use. So that's the first thing I recommend doing. Now let's say an application that you normally download is supported on iPads, but it's not supported on yours. Well, the next thing I'd recommend doing is actually making your way over to your settings panel Coming to this panel, you want to go and click general right here. You want to go and click software update and you want to see if there's an update available for your iPad. Now, here's the thing. If you're rocking a very, very old iPad, and I'm talking like the first iPad, the second iPad, any iPad that has not been supported with software for the last couple of years, the chances of you being able to download the most recent applications get slimmer and slimmer every single time. So your best bet as of right now is to just download and install the latest version of software that you have in your device. And at that point, what you want to do is once it's installed, you want to go back into your app store, just like you want to go back into your app store, just like how I showed you. And what you want to do here is you want to re-download that application. So whatever that application was, you want to go and re-download it. And that could end up fixing the problem as well. If that still doesn't fix it, you may just want to double check that that iPad and that app has an iPad counterpart. If not, you can still download the iPhone one. If none of those things are still working, then I'd recommend either checking your Apple account, making sure there's not any limitations to it, making sure you haven't, you know, you owe money to Apple or whatever. Also, you may just want to double check your specific device isn't broken. If it doesn't have any issues, you should still be good. You can also try freeing up some storage on your iPad. Those are typically the main ways to go and fix this in my opinion. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.